Good evening, good evening, good evening. Happy Monday, happy Monday, happy Monday, everyone. My name is Mirdalyn. So if tonight is your first time watching me, I want to welcome you. So tonight we're doing present simple tense. All right. So we're doing present simple tense. How do we use the present simple? We use it to state facts, talk about something that is true or generalization. And also we can use it with non-continual verbs that is connected with our thoughts, our emotions, our feelings, our opinions, or our five senses. All right. So we're going to get started. The sun is hot. The sun is hot. How do I know we're talking about something that happened in the present? Right here, we have the be verb is, all right? So automatically, you know we're talking about something that is in the present. And plus, the sun is hot. So that is the truth. The sun is hot. We got the be verb is over here. It's hot in the summer. It's hot in the summer. All right. Now this sentence, yes, is true for some people, not everyone. All right. So now we know that like when it's summer times for me, it may not be summer times for you. If it's summer times for you, it may not be summer for me. It all depends where you live. All right. So we have the word it's the contraction form, right? Instead of me saying it is, I wrote it's all right. The apostrophe S connected with this word, the is, is there. It is hot in the summer, all right? That is true, depending where you're living. Dogs are men's best friend. Dogs are men's best friend, all right? So now, which is the subject? Dogs are the subject, all right? We have the be verb are, are men's best friend. Yes, some men, they said dogs are their best friend. May not be true for you, but it is true for some men, all right? Then we have cats are better than dogs. Over here, we have the subject. We're talking about cats. Cats are, this is the be verb over here. Cats are better than dogs. Yes, it can be true for some people. Me personally, I love cats. I'm not too fond of dogs, all right? So to me, I think cats are better than dogs. Right here, this is something totally different, okay? Up here, the sun is hot, something that is true, right? It's hot in the summer. Yes, it's a fact. It's a fact for me. Although it is a fact for me, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's a fact for you, all right? When I say dogs are men's best friend, I'm talking about generalization, all right? Then we have cats are better than dogs. It's also generalization as well, right? So we also use the present simple to talk about habits and routines. What do I mean by that? I teach you guys every Mondays, right? Every Mondays we have our classes. These are habits. You see me every Monday online. You are here learning with me, all right? What are habits and routines? They are things that you do all the time, things that you do every day. You wake up in the morning, you eat your breakfast, you wash, you brush your teeth, you clean your clothes, you get ready, you go to school. These are habits and routines. They are things that you do all the time, all right? Over here we have, I always eat breakfast at 8 a.m. That is a routine. The reason why it's a routine, that is something that I do every day. I have to eat, right? You cannot stay without food. You have to eat in order for you to have a productive day. In order for you to get throughout the rest of the day, you need to eat your breakfast. All right. I always eat breakfast at 8 a.m. 
So that is a routine. She plays card every day. She plays card every day. Yes, that's a habit. Some people, they like to play cards. Others like to play dominoes. And there are some people, they play other kinds of games, right? McKendy starts karate at 4 p.m., all right? So now, let's get back to number two for a second, right? I wrote, she plays card every day. This is the subject. We're talking about a female, right? So why do we have an S on always and S on play? The reason why we add an S on play is because whenever the subject is a man, a woman, or a thing, you have to add an S with the verb. She plays, or she eats, or she walks, or she talks, or she gives, or she comes, all right? She plays card every day. That's telling you that's something that the subject does all the time, all right? Then we have McKendy starts karate at 4 p.m. daily, all right? That's a routine. Routine is something that you do constantly. You do it all the time, all right? McKendy starts, again, we have an S because McKendy is a male, all right? McKendy starts karate at 4 p.m. daily. When I say daily, daily means every day, all right? The word daily means every day. McKendy starts karate at 4 p.m. every day. Then we have, we have English class every Monday, which is true. We meet every Monday. So that's something right here. That is a routine, all right? That's something that we do all the time. All right, we have English class every day. Over here, you can also use present simple when talking about your feelings, when using the five senses, talking about your thoughts, your emotions. When I say emotions, I'm talking about the way you feel, your opinions, what do you think, your five senses, meaning like your taste, your sight, your smell, things like that, all right? Number one, Rose feels tired. Rose feels tired. That's her feeling. That's how she's feeling. Rose is a female, so therefore we need to add an S with the verb to feel. Rose feels tired. So if I was referring to myself, I would have said I feel without the S. I feel tired, or you feel tired, all right? We need help. We, talking about you and me, we need help, all right? It smells strong. It smells strong. Over here, smell is what? When you talk about smell, right, you're talking about like your senses, all right? So if you're eating a food, you're tasting your food, obviously you're going to smell the scent, all right? So that's talking about the senses, all right? It smells strong, all right? And then we have, I love my class. That's my emotion. I love my class. I love you guys, all right? That's how I feel, all right? So yes, you can use the present simple to talk about your feelings, to talk about your emotion, to talk about your opinions. I think you guys are smart. That's my opinion. I think you guys are bright. I think you're very smart. I think you're wonderful. I think you're kind. I think you're nice, all right? Now, we can also use the present simple tense to talk about the near future, all right? Now, what do I mean when I'm talking about the near future? Right now, it's 6.56 for some of you guys, right? And some of you guys, I believe, have 7.56, and some of you guys have 4.56, correct? So if something is going to happen 
in the next hour or in two hours. That's the near future. The word near means close. All right. Now, if I'm going to have another live and right now it's 656, if I'm going to have another live at 8 p.m., I can say to you, class is at 8 p.m. The reason why I can say class is at 8 p.m., I'm using the present simple. I'm using the B verb is. Class is at 8 p.m. That's in the near future, all right? So yes, you can use the present simple to talk about something that is in the near future. For example, he has class at 8 p.m. It's not 8 p.m. yet. So yes, you can say he is the subject. He has class at 8 p.m., all right? Ronit arrives on Tuesday. If today is Monday and I know I'm going to meet my friend tomorrow, of course, I can use the present simple to say Ronit arrives on Tuesday, meaning that she's coming on Tuesday, all right? That's the time that she will be here. And then we have Marie starts work soon. Soon is in the near future. Something that is close to happen. Marie starts work soon. Since Marie is the subject, we need to make sure that there is an S with the verb. All right? So keep in mind, whenever a male, a female, or a thing is the subject, you have to add an S or ES with the verb, all right? Last but not least, the product comes tomorrow. The product comes tomorrow. So if you purchase something online, it will arrive tomorrow. Yes, you can say that the product comes tomorrow, all right? It's telling you that the items or the product will arrive tomorrow. So we're gonna go over them one more time. The sun is hot, that is a fact. A fact is something that is true, all right? So an opinion is something that you think, something that you believe. Just because something is an opinion does not make it true. But when it's a fact or it's the truth, that means yes, it's real. Yes, the sun is hot, whether it is today, Tomorrow, next month, or next year, the sun is always hot. It's hot in the summer. It is a fact. If it's in the summer for me, of course it's going to be hot. Just because it's summertime for me does not make it necessarily summer for you. All right? So, yes, in the summer, it's hot. Dogs are men's best friend. That's a generalization. When I say generalization, I'm talking about how a lot of people, yes, they say dogs are men's best friend. Cats are better than dogs. For me, I think so. Since I love cats, I think they are better than dogs. For some of you, you guys may think different, but that's okay. It's a generalization. Some people, they prefer cats over dogs. And some people, they prefer dogs over cats, all right? Then you can use the present simple form to talk about habits, to talk about routines. In other words, things that you do, things that you like to do, all right? Now, whenever I'm teaching, I usually hold my marker. That's a habit, okay? A habit is something that you do. Sometimes you don't even realize if you're doing it. All right. So number one, I always eat breakfast at 8 a.m. That's not a habit. That's a routine. There is a big difference between a habit and a routine. A habit is something that you do. Sometimes you may not realize that you do it. A routine is something that you do all the time. All right. Habits does not necessarily mean that you do it all the time. But yes, you do it. All right. Some people, their habits are talking over other people. Some people, their habits could be like um, saying a special word. Like for me, 
my special word, my habit is, you know what I'm saying? Next, she plays card every day. She is the subject and that is the verb, to play. She plays card every day. That is a routine. That is something that she does all the time. Then we have number three. McKendi starts karate at 4 p.m. daily. McKendi is the subject. Start is the verb. So yes, we have to add an S since the subject is a male, all right? McKendi starts karate at 4 p.m. daily, which means every day. We have English class every Monday, all right? Yes, it's a routine. That's something that we do constantly. We do it all the time. Every Monday we meet, all right? Then right here, you can also use present simple to talk about non-continuous verbs that is connected to your thoughts, what you think, your emotions, how you feel, your feelings, your opinion, what you think, and your five senses. For example, Rose feels tired. Rose feels tired. That's her feelings. That's how the subject feels. She's tired. We need help. That's my thought. All right? We need help. That's what I think. I think we need help. Then we have, it smells strong. So that is not a thought. If I say it smells strong, I'm talking about our senses to smell, right? So yes, we're going to use it and add an S since it is the subject, all right? It smells strong. Then we have, I love my class. That is how I feel. That is my feeling. I love you guys. That's my emotion, all right? And we can also use the present simple to talk about the near future. When I said the near future, is something that's close to happen. So if you're going to do something at 8.30, that's the near future. If you're going to do something tomorrow morning, that's the near future. He has class at 8 p.m. Ronit arrives on Tuesday. Ronit arrives. Ronit is the subject. She arrives on Tuesday. That is the near future. Then we have Marie starts work soon. All right? Marie starts work soon. Then we have the product comes tomorrow. The product comes tomorrow so the tomorrow is near right tomorrow is not too far so it's in the near future all right so this is what i'm going to do with some of you guys all right so when we are talking about the present simple all right so we're going to use two verb with you guys with the present simple we're going to use the verb talk and the verb to eat and I want you guys to listen carefully, all right? So now, I eat, you eat, he eats, all right? So when you're saying it, when you're using he, go a little bit fast. Don't say he eat. Say he eat, he eats. Add an S, he eats, she eats, it eats, we eat, you eat, and they eat, all right? Now, if I eat ice cream, I can say to you, I eat ice cream, you eat ice cream, he eats ice cream, she eats ice cream, it eats ice cream, we eat ice cream, you eat ice cream, and they eat ice cream. Now, let's do the verb talk, all right? I talk. You talk, he talks, she talks, it talks, we talk, you talk, they talk. I talk every day, you talk every day, he talks every day, she talks every day, 
It talks every day. We talk every day. You talk every day. And they talk every day. I talked to Amanda last night. I talked to Amanda this morning. I talked to Amanda today. You talked to Amanda today. He talks to Amanda today. It talks to Amanda today. Yes, I'm not talking about an animal. If I say it talks to Amanda, I can be referring to the computer, right? Sometimes when you're checking something online, it will give you information. Yes, it will talk back with you. It talks to Amanda today. We talk to Amanda today. They talk to Amanda today. All right? So now we're going to do it together one more time. Let's do the verb eat. All right? I eat my food. You eat your food. He eats its food. She eats her food. It eats its food. We eat our food. And they eat their food. All right? I talk to him. Hold on one second. I talk to him. You talk to him. He talks to him. She talks to him. It talks to him. We talk to him. They talk to him. So what I want you guys to realize. So whenever we have a positive, of course, we have a negative. So if I say I talk to him. So if I'm going to use the negative, I'm going to say I don't talk to him. All right. So when I say don't, that is the contraction form of do not. So instead of me saying I do not talk to him, I will say I don't talk to him. They mean the same thing. I don't talk to him. You don't talk to him. He doesn't. You, you're not going to say he don't. Third person saying you like, you're going to say he doesn't talk to him. She doesn't talk to him. It doesn't talk to him. We don't talk to him. You don't talk to him and they don't talk to him. All right. So now let's do the verb eat. All right. I eat, you eat, he eats, she eats, it eats, we eat, you eat, and they eat. Right. So now let's do the negative. Now I don't eat, you don't eat, he doesn't eat, she doesn't eat, it doesn't eat. We don't eat, you don't eat, and they don't eat, all right? So this is what I want you guys to do. I want you guys to practice, all right? Keep practicing. The more you practice, the better you will be, all right? So I want to take this time to thank each and all of you guys for watching. If tonight is your first time watching me, I want to welcome you. If that's your second or third time, welcome again. My name is Mirdalyn. We meet every Monday's at 7 30 if you have not subscribed with me on youtube after this live go to youtube type speak english with mirdalyn that's how you'll be able to subscribe with me so guys please share the live for me don't worry about what's behind me after the live i will post everything up for you guys stay positive i will see you guys next monday at 7 30 have a wonderful night